All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna jump right into the video. I'm just taking my Too Faced shadow insurance and I'm gonna prime my lids. Everything that I'm doing is just what I normally do when I'm doing my eyeshadow from a normal day-to-day -day basis. Now we're gonna dip into the palette. You will get my final thoughts and everything towards the end. I won't be doing swatches in this video because you can find swatches everywhere i just really want to talk about how they perform um because i'm really not wild about this palette for my first initial look at this palette i'm not wild by it um i just stuck the film up here but i'm not wild by it first off so hopefully as i use them my opinion will change um as you can see my face is already done i did contour with this palette however because it says you can do that I used a mixture of the two shades, Brew and Brownie, to contour, and it looks really natural. Like, in person, I don't know if it's translating on camera, but in person, it looks really natural, like a natural contour, and I really liked it. So, let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm first going to go ahead and take my Morphe E30 brush. I love this brush, and I'm first going to go in with the shade Mojo which is this shade right here. It's called Mojo. It's like a tan-ish brownish shade. I really want to do a really cute halo eye. Um, hope you guys are not sick of me doing halo eyes. And please do not mind my eyebrows. They were not cooperating today at all. My eyebrows just didn't want me to be great. So please don't mind them. Let's take a little bit of Glitz, which is this matte fuchsia right here that's Glitz, just to give us a little bit of color. These shades aren't too powdery. I honestly love Morphe shadows, so I'm not surprised at the quality. I just, I'm just not wowed by this palette, but hopefully you know, using it will see how I really feel. And we're going to take a little bit of glitz along the lower lash line. While we have it on the brush. Um, we're next going to take the shade Brew, which is a warm brown. So this is Brew and Brownie. Brew is more of a warm brown. Brownie is more of a cool brown. But we're going to take Brew. Maybe we will put a little bit of brownie on top and see if that'll really warm it up a little. Okay, there, yeah. It darkened it a little bit more. I'm going to take that brush you first saw me use and I'm going to go back into my shadow insurance and I'm just going to reapply a little bit onto the center of my lids and then for the center of the lid I really want to use sunshiny it's really pretty this is sunshiny it's like a orangey bronze I think it's really pretty 
So I'm first going to go in with this dry. I'm not going to wet my brush. We're going to see. And then we'll see how it looks. Shade is so pretty. I want to use a smaller brush. That brush is way too big. We'll use this one. I'm going to go in with my finger now. just to see if it'll pop a little bit more right in the middle of sun shiny i'm gonna which is our center color i'm gonna use a little bit of crystal it's a pretty champagne gold sun is shiny and that like gives it a nice, pretty highlight. On the lower lash line to accompany glitz, I'm gonna put a little bit of the shade right next to it, which is called Brassy, which is like a orangey, it's really pretty burnt orange shade like this shade in person is so pretty and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the brown that I have in my crease my lash on as well to smoke it out a bit then I'm just taking the cream shade which is creamer it's a regular cream shade just gonna blend that out underneath my trashed eyebrows. What are we gonna use for the inner corner? I'm just gonna use a little bit of crystal. Crystal again to pop right into that inner corner. So the back of the box says that you can also use these shades as highlighters. And for medium dark skin tones, they said this, the shade Dream would be the shade to highlight with. So I'm just going to take my Morphe, ooh, Morphe R12 fan brush. Sorry, it's dirty. And I'm going to take the shade Dream, which is this one. And it's like a bronzy and I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna try to highlight. It's really pretty. Will I be grabbing it to highlight with on highlight with on a daily basis? Probably not. Alright. Um for lips, I'm gonna use Morphe's liquid lipstick in the shade Nibble. And it's a really like vampy reddish brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead really quickly off camera. I'm going to do liner and lashes. I'm going to come back with my final thoughts and if I think this palette is worth it or not. Okay, beautiful people, I am ready to give you guys my final thoughts. This is the look that I was able to come up with. It's a really quick, everyday look because honestly, that's how I see this palette. I see it, I see it as being a really quick, everyday palette. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this palette. First of all, the price. So this palette was really inexpensive. I'm looking up on my phone right now how much this palette cost. 
palette is twenty nine dollars. Do I think it's worth that price? Yeah, I think twenty nine dollars is a pretty nice price for a palette, being that also you get these huge pan sizes. These pan sizes are huge. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. This palette reminds me so much of the Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna quickly show them side by side for you. So this is the Modern Renaissance. And this is the 20, duh, it's 24G. Like, they remind me so much of each other. The first time I saw this, I was just like, okay, it looks just like the Modern Renaissance. Now, using these shadows, the mattes were okay. It was nothing. I've had better Morphe mattes. Like, when I think of the 35O, 35O2, some of the Morphe palette that I love. My 35P, my Jaclyn Hill palette. The mattes in here and the mattes in those palettes, I feel like those palettes, the mattes are better. Um, the browns that I used were, are nice in the pan. They didn't really show up that great on the eyes. Um, the shade Glitz, I wish it was a little bit more pigmented, which is that fuchsia. When I'm looking for a fuchsia, I'm looking for like Juvia's Place fuchsia. When you want fuchsia, Juvia's Place the pigment is insane and I got that I didn't get that from this palette um the shimmers in here are, are nice um Morphe always does great shimmers Morphe does always great overall palettes but I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you guys um I really dragged my ass buying this because when I looked at it I thought it was boring and now that I'm using it it's not boring but it's great for every day I have shades like this already in my collection with my Modern Renaissance palette, my Juvia's Place Orion 2 palette, I have single shadows from, from like Anastasia, Colourpop, like, this is not a palette that I feel like I personally am gonna start reaching for, like, um, like crazy, I may reach for it here and there, because I really like the shade Brassy, Marble looks really pretty. Like, marble looks pretty. Like, if I want to do a cute pinky tone sh uh, eyeshadow look, then I'll, this is the palette that I can see myself reaching for. But other than that, not so much. If you have shades like this already in your collection, definitely pick it up. If you am just curious about it, definitely pick it up. I'm not saying don't buy this palette. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you really don't need it, then don't buy it. I'm a Morphe lover. I love Morphe products. Um, like this lip color is everything to me, but I don't, and I jump on palettes when they release them. Like I'm, I'm one of those people, but this is one that I honestly feel like I could have skipped. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to send it back or anything because I'm not, I'm going to keep it and continue to use it, but I, I'm not going to reach for it. I'm going to be honest. It's not a palette that you need. It's so many other Morphe palettes you can buy that are so much better than this. I think Morphe wanted this palette to be it because it has bigger pans. And I really wanted to get on camera today and see you guys get this. The pans are big and you're gonna use them up because the shadows are beautiful, gorgeous, and it's nothing like that. Even the 35 did even the even the third the um Deatrin Create palette those mattes and shimmers in that palette are insanely pigmented and i don't get that from this i don't at all like i said i'm not saying don't buy the palette i'm saying buy it try it you may you may like it um the shimmers in here are nice the mattes are they weren't my favorite out of all the shades i used today the mattes just weren't my favorite today they just they just weren't. I don't want to say maybe I could have did something differently because I use the brushes that I always use. I use the eyeshadow primer that I always use. I didn't do anything that I normally wouldn't do. The only thing that I may do next time if I do, if, when I do use this palette is instead of using my shadow insurance or my Urban Decay Primer Potion, maybe I'll use my MAC Paint Pot and maybe that'll help the shades pop a little bit more. But I see this as being a palette that you can use for everyday looks. Um, it's okay as a contour, okay as a highlight. Like, I'm not mad at that. I like that. Um, so, that's that. So, like I said, I really want to know what you guys think. Do you own it? Do you guys 
Um, how do you guys feel about it? If you plan on purchasing it, you know, you know, let me know. Um, so yeah, I think the eye look is cute. Um, but I'm not, you know, and yeah, you guys, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you all to absolute pieces and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.